The African Centered Education Task Force Incorporated, or ACEDI, has again thrown its staff a curveball, saying it's filing for bankruptcy and won't be able to pay off any of the employees. Sayed Shabir has been following the story for the last month. He joins us live from the school tonight. Sayed. Well, Mark, this building is now being used by the Kansas City Public School District, but it was right here where the Assetti staff spent countless hours educating thousands of students last year. It was a year the teachers say filled with uncertainty and lies as they wondered each week whether or not they were going to get paid. Now, tomorrow is supposed to be payday, but now it's just going to be Friday. These frustrated teachers say they've learned an important lesson. Don't trust the ASETI management team. There's nobody in this room that believes that what ACE is telling us is the truth. Today they were told their former employer was going bankrupt and it would not be able to pay their final checks. This has been a reoccurring theme. It was a similar story last month. Two days before payday, the staff was told ASETI could not make payroll because of funding issues with Kansas City Public Schools. After multiple phone calls, calls to board chairman Ajamu Webster, the staff was told they would get paid. That Friday, the 76 teachers and staff members were told to pick up their checks at the back door of this vacant beauty salon. They arrived, but the checks didn't, at least not until nearly an hour later, forcing the already frustrated employees to stand out in the heat. Once they got their checks, there was more bad news. My check is about $200 short. The checks were for the wrong amount, and no one was given an explanation why. They don't even want us to argue about it. They just want us to sign. When we tried to ask the managers, Can you tell us why the checks were short? We were ignored. It's hard to know what's true, but I do believe that they're liars and cheaters. So again, we reached out to the board, who admitted to making a mistake, and paid the employees the shorted amount. But Assetti still owes them one more paycheck. And now that their former employer is filing for bankruptcy, the staff has little hope of getting paid. Now we're at the point to where they're going to file a Chapter 7, and really in a Chapter 7, we're stuck. You don't get any money. Now, in the email sent out to the staff today, Assetti says that Liberty Bank took $100,000 from its payroll account and used it to pay off an outstanding loan. Meanwhile, Assetti claims that they are current on that loan. Now, we reached out to Assetti's attorney, but she declined to comment on the story. Meanwhile, the staff is hiring its own attorney and is planning to take legal action to try and get their money back. We're live tonight in Kansas City. Sayed Shabir, 41 Action News.